Good morning. July 12th, 2014. Saturday morning. Time to do yard sales once again. The convertible top is down. The Volkswagen's on the prowl. I'm looking for yard sale bargains. Let's see if I find any. First yard sale of the day. Okay, here's something that's really been annoying me this year. I followed the signs to here. Moving sale, right? Saturday, June 28th. I guess it's too much effort to take the signs down. Turkey buzzards. Turkey buzzards. Permit me a small rant. This was actually taken from the field. What's wrong with this sign? It's big. It's fluorescent. It says moving sale, but what's missing? An arrow. And a date and an address. Well, we don't care about the address and the date as long as you have an arrow, okay? The only two elements for a yard sale sign are the words yard and sale and an arrow. That's all you need. You don't even need this. You could put it on a paper plate. And the third thing, now I have to be fair, full disclosure, this was at the end of the street and maybe about 200 feet down, there was the sale, so it was easy to see. But generally speaking, those two elements. Now the third factor in a yard sale side, it sign is, you have to take down, okay? This pointed to a yard sale that was on the 28th of June. It's the 12th of July. Why do I want to waste gas well, nearly $4 a gallon, trying to get to a yard sale that's over, okay? Rant over. Now, what did I buy? Here's what I bought. A book on Cadillacs, a car I will likely never own. Oh, no. It's entitled Nigger, The Strange Career of a Troublesome Word by Randall Kennedy. It sort of jumped off out of the box at me, you know? And then, I'm bringing this to work. But, I didn't inspect it. Got to get a bulb for it. That's on me, as the kids say. That's on me, okay? It's a Jesse Pinkman thing. All right, that's it.